hello everyone in this video we will do the setup of the creator kit solution in the dynamic 365 in the power platform platform there so uh the creator kit is the uh, com component library where we can we, these components we can use to develop the modern user interface components for the model driven apps and the canvas apps okay so uh to set up of this one how to use it into the canvas app or the model driven apps we will see that one so when you search the creator kit on the google uh, on the net you will find the creator kit this link on that microsoft and here you will see the link to download the creator kit it will allow you to download the uh, it when you click on this one it will ask you to save as a core solution so this will give you the uh, gif file of the core solution so that is one of the creator kit solution which we need to download then there is a solution for the canvas app if you want to develop this uh, uh, component for the canvas uh, mobile apps so you have to go to this link and download the solution from there now if you want to uh, develop the component for the model driven apps then you you can go to this link and download the solution of the model driven apps so total uh, here it will be a uh, three solution which i'm going to import now there are some other useful links like for repository or the in release notes you can refer these links from here from this site for the reference for the when you develop it and if you're stuck in somewhere you want to find something then you can refer these links for the reference so uh, when you download this solution the core solution then the canvas app solution and then the model driven app solution then you will have these three solution already downloaded in your system in your local machine so we have to import this solution one by one uh, to enable into the uh, develop for the utilizing these components into the canvas app or the model driven apps so for that already i have logged into the admin.powerplatform.com where i am having the uh, this one dot in little boys 55 environment in this environment i am going to import this uh, these three solutions so uh, to import it i have logged into the make.powerapps.com here two pay, two tabs i have opened and i have selected the environment dot uh, net little boy 55 and then here in the solution you can see under the man unmanaged and the manage i do not have the these uh, creator kit solution imported here so i'm going to import it and these solutions are the managed solutions so that is why it will be available after import under the managed group so um let's import it so i'll copy this path from here and then i'll go to import first i'm going to import the core solution okay so this is the core solution going to import this may take a few minutes to import so we will wait for some time until the import is getting completed So currently it is importing now the creator kit of the core solutions so we'll wait for a while until this is getting completed all right then so this solution creator kit solution has been imported successfully so if you go to the manage now now i can see my creator kit solution imported so next solution uh, we will import is the is the canvas app so we will select this one canvas app solution and import it this will also take some time to import so we will wait for a while until it is getting imported successfully
all right so now here the uh, create a reference for the canvas app has been imported successfully so if you go to the manage group here i can see the canvas app of the creator kit has been imported so now we will import the last solution which is uh, nothing but for the model driven app so we'll select the solution and import it this will also take uh, some time so we will wait uh, until this solution also getting imported successfully all right so now these three solution has been imported successfully to my environment here so if i go to the manage now i can see these three solutions have been imported so now these components we can the component of these three solutions we can use the on the type of apps where we want to utilize it so example to to show that uh, how to use it i will be creating one uh, custom page and we will try to see how to use it so we can go to the apps here and try to create new page design here start with the page design so when you try to use so what i will do before that i'm going to select this solution here the solution which i'm for which under which i'm going to add the new component so this is the solution under this solution i'm going to add the new custom page and that page i will try to utilize these components so here i will go to the new app and then we will select the page under the app we will have the page which is nothing but custom page and we can select it and uh, un under this uh, the custom page is similar to the canvas app uh, but these pages can be utilized inside the can be embedded inside the model driven app also so this is the uh, default screen loaded on the uh, custom page and here uh, if we go to the insert option here if you go to the here uh, and when you click on this plus icon and then go to the get more component here you will see the some uh, library it has to come here so now you can see the power cat library is coming but here the my expected components are not coming code components are not coming where I, where i can edit those one like the detail list labels and those things are not displaying here to make the util utilization of this comp what are the components we have imported we have to enable this feature into this environment so uh, we, uh, and from the power admin dot power platform dot microsoft dot com, you have to open this environment uh, for which I have imported the my solution. And for this uh, environment, I have to go to setting, and then uh, we have to go to the uh, feature under the product group. So select the feature, and then we have to enable the power app component framework for the canvas app so we have to by default this button will be disabled we have to enable it and save it so when you enable this one then the component what we have imported uh, through this solution we can use it as a code there so you will see the options now after enabling this one so once it is saved then i can refresh this screen it may it might take some time to affect uh, to enable that option to see here but after enabling this feature uh, this option definitely you will see the code component which we can add it so here we'll go to the plus get more component so it is taking time yeah now you can see i'm having the canvas and then i'm having the code so under the code component i can see uh, the lot of different kind of component of the fluent ui which we can use so here uh, i will be showing you the demo in the next video about the uh, fluent uh, details list so if you go to the details list here so you can see we can select this one and we can import it so like that uh, when you import this component in your list here now this component you can drag and drop and you can use it in your custom page or the canvas app we can design it as per your requirement so this is how you can uh, do your setup of the uh, creator kit in your environment i hope this video was useful to you thank you for watching this video